Hi, um, I'm Lida Abdul. I'm, um, I was born in Afghanistan, and um, at the moment, I'm, my practice takes place in Afghanistan mainly. Um, um, I will sort of talk you through my work and show you some earlier work um, from the 90s um, that, uh, that I feel that fits um, the topic. Um, of this show and uh, my relationship to um, gender and the issues that um, I've been sort of grappling with as an Afghan artist. And as you know, um, Afghanistan um, sort of is uh, a, a place that in one sense um, has become a metaphor for um, not only um, for war, for uh, 25, 35 years of war now, um, but it also has become a metaphor for a struggle um, that um, Afghan women are going through um, on a daily, daily basis. So I will go ahead and show you some of my earlier work, uh, especially this one, um, which I feel abstractly deals with these issues of feminizing the, the textual space. I've done a series of work with with this um, with the idea of the veil. Um, a few that I'm not able to show today. They're called um, "I'm Veiled," and various different objects are coming from my mouth, like honey and so on. Um, um, and they're called global porn. And you know, this question of veil um, has been a subject for a lot of artists from the region, and and it's also you know, uh, as something that uh, it always comes up. And um, I find it sort of problematic because 
I feel that it's sort of a something that sort of ho hold on to both from the Western side and from the, West, from the Eastern as a means of, as a symbol of freedom and um, liberation. So I want to talk a little bit actually about the piece that's here in um, in the museum. It's called the White House, and it's a it's a large building that was bombed um, a few years back, and it is um, it's it's a particular building that is close to the presidential palace in Afghanistan. So it was formerly um, part of the uh, was used for um, it was part of um, a government agency. And it's a beautiful um, house uh, with sort of Greek Roman um, architecture. And this building was is sort of shattered into pieces, and there are a few pillars that are still standing. And I decided to. Um, I was uh, representing Afghanistan in the Venice Biennale in 2005, and and uh, it was a sort of a you know something that I was struggling for quite a long time how do you represent afghanistan in a way and and that was the piece for me the um that i came up with where it took two or three uh days to you know paint this whole area white even the rub the little tiny sort of stone that's left um of the building and it's turned to this gigantic sculpture and it's and it's uh, tra completely transformed. And at one point, this man comes across my painting stroke, and even he is painted. His back is painted white. And um, and at the end, these sort of um, these animals um, take over the space. Um, so for me, this was sort of a symbol of you know, what Afghanistan somehow has become. It was a met it's a metaphor for Afghanistan, but the idea of, of me painting these ruins white was sort of very important um, gesture for me because as an, as a, an, as, as an artist, as a woman, um, not only I'm not veiled in that piece because I didn't want it to be about that, um, but also in a sense I have um, painted even this man that comes across the, you know, this 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 uh, performance, um, and for this particular show, I don't think the piece is in, um, it's not meant, it's not installed the way I want it to be installed. It's an installation piece. It's supposed to be sort of shown by itself in a loop, a continuous loop. But um, anyhow. Um, um, and the kind of work that I'm doing now is a slightly different. And um, I'm constantly in Afghanistan, and I'm constantly making work there. And it's, it's, a, it's a difficult place to make work. And um, the issues uh, of gender obviously comes on, on a daily basis, on constant basis. Um, there's a lot of a sort of um, resistance um, 
that I feel on, you know, every day when I make work and every day that I'm on the street and, and having to just go through the bureaucracy to get permissions, um, it's difficult as an Afghan woman to, to do that. Um, and oftentimes, you know, when I am shooting, like the most, my recent piece that um, was shot for the Biennale of Moscow, um, I was, you know, personally threatened um, not to make work. Um, so those are some of the things that you deal with as a woman in Afghanistan. Um, but uh, the question is to, you know, for me that's important is that that the resistance does not stop, you know, by the fact that I'm there, there and con continuously making work, um, I feel that that somehow a kind of change is taking place. Um, and so I will show you some work. Um, it's called Military Body. Um, and it's in the back. You could show that one, yes. We can stop this one now. We can stop this one. Yeah. So this is a continuous installation. Uh, it's a continuous loop, so it would be, again, an installation setting. I will take you to this um, a series of work that I did in Kabul. Um, this was done in 2002, uh, before the White House. And uh, this particular piece, what, I, what I've, I, I started a project for myself where I started painting um, military equipment uh, like tanks and helicopters and any 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 debris that was left over um, that's sort of begun as you know like I said in 2002 and it's a sort of a continuous project until now where one of my recent pieces I'm taking a huge um, military uh, plane that's shot down who has which has over 3,000 bullets uh, that's gone through it, and it will be an inst a, a piece, a performance with with the kids in Kabul. So it's so these are ongoing projects. Let's see if I can get this to work. Sorry, I can't see a thing. Um, 
sorry, it's not coming up on the screen, but it's I'm not sure what happened. Is it not getting no. Do you have a menu for this one? Sorry? Is there a menu yeah. for it? Yeah. Uh, Do you want to play it in the back? I don't know. You can just we'll play the first piece okay. in the back. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. We'll try something else because it's not coming up on my um, laptop. You just play it. Okay, my DVD is not working. Um, well, anyways, I can feel, uh, I can sort of describe the the piece um, where I'm going through different sit streets in Kabul and finding these military equipment. Um, there's a I, I, there's a particular car which I've picked. Um, it's it's it says disarm on it, and um, it's uh, painted in the green military col color. And it's uh, basically there's a skeleton of it left, and there's nothing else. And I sort of continuously paint um, this particular car, and it goes on to tanks and um, uh, and helicopters and things like that. So they somehow become visible for me, and um, they become they sort of take a sculptural quality um, um, that I feel. You know, I feel like they they need to be used. You know, they're sort of taking over space and they're eyesores. Um, so uh, my projects now, I'm working quite a bit with kids. Um, like I mentioned, kids from the kids from the street, and um, and uh, with ruins uh, because um, oftentimes when I do have projects that deal with women, that I need um, actresses. Um, um, it just becomes an impossible task. Um, I can't get them to sort of uh, participate um, because of the personal problems that they might have in the future. Um, so I, therefore I work oftentimes from people on the street, men and children. So uh, hopefully that will change in the future where you know there will be much more sort of um, freedom in terms of media. It's happening, but it's a little slow. Um, and if you have any questions, I will be around in the museum. Thank you.